Okay, all right. So checking this out, uh, it's a ton better. It's really, really cool. The timing is working a lot better. I like that little swing out there. And then you see this stops. Whoops. And starts hurrying over there. That's super cool. Looks a bit there. Getting ready. And it throws it. So that's really neat. I think it's it's overall working a lot better. It's definitely, as you say, so linear. So some you know bumpy things as, he, as the guy comes down. My comments would be, <clears throat> when he comes down here, I will keep that head up here so he kind of looks where he's going. Uh, it's kind of an odd thing for him to crawl down and kind of look down so much and then jump. You know, you could argue he would look down around here. You know, he's looking everywhere, including straight down, right? And then as he continues on, once he stops, to me, since he's jumping around here, he will kind of lift his head and telegraph to the audience, well, that's kind of where I'm going. Oops. Then he does this. That's neat. As you continue on, you can start breaking it up where, you know, you get a pose here and then everything starts moving. So at this point, I would leave it here and then the, the head would start moving first. So it would uh, lead that whole action and then the body continues, you know, the arm maybe and then the rest of the body. Same thing here, you continue on, um, you know, offset things. The head would turn first, get to this point. That's neat. I like that. That's cool. I love all this here. That's great. I love that pose, especially with the hand here like that. It's neat. Comes into this. So then my only last two comments would be, once he gets off, right? So he is running, running, hiding, sees the thing. And then the next pose is this. And that's kind of a Sunday stroll. He's kind of bored. It's kind of eh. It's not really reflecting. Uh, I saw the prey. I'm ready. I'm ready to hunt this thing. Let's do this. You know, there's no... It just feels too casual. Just goes down and then it starts running here. So just, if you can go from here to, you know, there could be a... Instead of a step here, you could go... And on that, the foot would be already here. And hit this back leg would be back here. Like he'd be already taking a step with, you know, he might bring up this, the spear a bit. He might already grab it. So it's a bit more energetic. Uh, and having a pose that kind of reflects that that attitude a bit more. And then the only last thing would be this. I think everything's great. And that's the only part that feels rushed, mainly because he gets to this point and, and picks up the thing, the spear. But your anticipation is only like up to here. Like that thing starts from below, goes up, and then it's an immediate throw versus bringing that arm all the way back here, right? He will go all, you know, that's my crappy drawing, but I'm saying that this arm, instead of being just like this, will go all the way back for bigger anticipation and then into that. And it feels like the root, I know it's still linear, but let's watch out as you continue on. It kind of shoots forward and then stops and it's, it's, it's quite the abrupt stop. And I think you'd be okay with on this pose, uh, or that time of the throw, that his leg could be here. You know, and then you got you got that whole throw here, but he's totally off balance, so that then you take that step here the way you have it here. So it's a bit more obvious that he has to take that step on that throw, really threw him off, off balance. That's it. I would say uh, those are the big Things I would tweak uh, and then go into spline and let's let's you know fine tune all the timing stuff and you're good to go. Nice work. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.